In this lab, we'll use our studio to look at association between variables and two-way tables, categorical variables and two-way tables. For this example, I will use the dataset wetsuits. In your lab, you are using the dataset employed ACS. To look at them, first remember you may need to load the library for the lock5 data. Hit the library lock5 data command and load the data set that you are using. I'm using wetsuits. You are going to use employee ACS. If you'd like to take a look at the data set itself, you can use the view command. And we see that there are four variables. The first one is some numbers for wetsuit and no wetsuit. Next, we have gender with F and M and type swimmer and triathlete. We can also get some help on the data set itself by typing help and the name of the data set. And the information appears down in the help window. We have the swim velocity with and without wearing a wetsuit. The data set has 12 observation on four variables. Maximum swim velocity wearing wetsuit, not wearing wetsuit. So two quantitative variables followed by two categorical variables. And more information follows. In order to look for association between these two categorical variables, first we will want to summarize the data into a table. And the R command for making a table is called table. And all you need to do is put in the variables that you want to be included in the table. So the first variable we're going to look at is gender. So we'll use data frame, dollar sign, variable. And so the data frame is wetsuits. The dollar sign says give me a variable and the variable we're going to put in the first one is gender. Then we use the same format data frame, dollar sign, and variable. We'll use type and that will give us a table where all of the female swimmers and female triathletes are counted, the male swimmers and the male triathletes are counted, and we see this is indeed a data set with 12 observations. I can change the names. Notice that the first variable is in the rows. The second variable is in the columns. If I want to change the names for that first variable instead of F and M to female and male, I need to change the names of the rows. You use a function called row names. The row names have to be put on something, right? And we actually didn't call our table anything. We just made a table. So we'll actually have to go back and call our table something. And so in this case, I'm going to call my table, my table. And then the arrow says, put the, vari the value of my table in there. And so then I'm going to store table inside that variable. This command will be the same as the one I did before. Data frame, dollar sign, variable. Notice nothing happened at all. That's because it took the information for the table and stored it in the variable called my table. Now if I want to look at my table, I can type the name my table and I will get my table back. Now we can put the row names and the column names on the table. Row names is the command that you will use to change the names of the rows. And you're going to put the row names on your table. Right? So I'm going to put row names on my table. What are those going to be? I'm going to assign them using the if blank arrow. It's going to be a character vector, so I use a C, the parentheses, and then I type the names. So I'm going to do female, close the parentheses, and then male. And close the parentheses. So notice I have a character vector inside of two parentheses and quotes around the names of everything I want to call, call of what I want to call each row. Nothing really happens. All it's done is stored it in my table. So if I want to see the new names, I'll type my table again, and now I see female and male. I can also change the column names using the R function column call names. Once again, I'm going to apply the column names to the table I created, which is called my table. 
I use the arrow to assign it, and it will be a character vector again. I'm going to call the first one swim, because I want it to be shorter. And the second one I'm going to call try. Notice it doesn't do anything again because it's storing it or sticking on that my table variable. And to see what it looks like, I type my table again, and now I see that I have changed both the row names and the column names for my table. So I have created the table using the table command and stored it in a variable called my table. The first variable is here, it's going into the rows, and the second variable is there, it goes into the columns. In order to see what my table looks like at any time, I can type the words my table, and there it is again. There's nothing special about my table. You could call it A or X or anything you'd like as long as it's not already a function in R. Next, I use the command row names applied to this saved table to change my row names. And then I went back and changed the column names. And that was how you set up the table in order to do a two-way table association.